we don't have any other place to go if they evict us from this place. My monthly salary is there. It's 5,000. It has been increased it to 8,000. Of course, my leg was amputated. S. Kopra Ikisandi from Nigeria Police. In 1991, I was enlisted into Nigeria Police for 1991. I was posted to Lagos State of Special Duty. I was attached to Ikire Police Station. Along the uh, we on patrol along the Abuligika Abu route. I was knocked down by Mercedes Benz, uh, by Danfo Brand Driver. The other vehicle coming from Agagri climb on my neck. I was rushed to Ikeja Hospital. My neck was mismanaged. Later, I was transferred to one uh, private hospital at uh, Abulegba. Later, later, I was told they cannot manage the, the leg. Later, the contact police, uh, police authority, maybe they can give me a drug. They can convey me to Efe. They have our my family charter ambulance. I will take it to the teaching hospital in the fe uh, February, February uh, 2001. August, my leg was amputated the same year. The same year, November, they discharged me from the hospital. All my expenses, I don't want to pay. My family don't want to pay me my pay. No police don't no, uh, assist me. My name is Uriah Shilvesi. I'm a sports child. And this event happened, like he has explained, it happened 2001 when I was 17 years old. And since then we have been living like this together. Because I was on duty when uh, this event happened. In 2006, I was disengaged. I was returned from police. My salary was stopped in that 2006 to 2009. This house was allocated to me in 1993. In 2007, federal government published, Minister of uh, Implementation published this house going to sow. Those uh, people that are inside the house, they are going to sell the house for those people who are living in the house. I took the form, I feel it. This house should pay 10%. In 2009, I was paid my gratuity. My gratuity was paid to around 225,000. Out of the 225,000, I paid 10% of the house because the house is 1.250. I paid 125,000. Since then, I don't have anything to do because my monthly salary is there. It's 5,000. It has increased it to. 8,000. In total last year, he increased it to 16,000. It's my son that is troubled doing all this thing to all of it two years ago. Uh, Minister of Implementation, uh, Presentation, Presentation of the State, the Service, uh, uh, Vision, the Tagati Social, Pascal. That is why I'm pleading, pleading to the federal government and uh, when we need Nigeria to assist me. If the federal government now, if they can come out to assist him, because when he was in service, he, de he dedicated himself even to the work. He immediately he got this now on the on duty. That is, it was it was on duty when he got this accident. So since then, federal government have not done anything reasonable to him. And we don't have any other place to go. And we have been here for for close to 30 years. My my father has been staying here. Close. Close to 30 years or more, we don't have any other place to go if they evict us from this place. That's why we are appealing to federal government and women in Nigeria, they should come to our needs. Last reason for me to pay the outside now, I have no place to go to fix this difficult for me. I'm paying the federal government they should have a decision, help me and the women in Nigeria to help me.